journalist and broadcaster Andy Johnson is still going through the newspapers for us. So what else have you found, Andy? Well, I think the big thing to talk about today, Tom, is the reason we're all here, isn't it, Antif? It's uh, Comic Relief yep. Day. 25 years they've been doing this now. They raised £74 million last time in 2011. And I think tonight's probably the most spectacular lineup of all, really. I mean, there's some great people involved. Everybody from Ricky Gervais, you know, reprising David Brent from The Office. We've got Jesse J shaving, shaving her hair off. Her now, why haven't you done that, Tiff? Come on, <laughs> 12 hours. This is I've got my wig on. <laughs> <laughs> stuck, <laughs> stuck on by glue, look, today especially. I'll whip it off later for you, honestly, folks. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a great one, I think. And Simon Cowell is getting married, shocker. We don't know who to, but I saw a trailer last married. night. Getting married. Really? And it is a bit shocking, folks. You might want to go and make a cup of tea with this is on later on tonight. But David Walliams rushes into the church wearing a wedding dress. What can I say? <laughs> Which is probably an everyday occurrence for David Walliams. I'm not sure. I don't yeah. know him. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fantastic. Going to be absolutely fantastic. Anything you've seen from it that, that you're looking forward to watching? Well, One Direction are going to be singing their latest single. So I'm excited about that. I don't know yeah, about you guys. Are you are you well, not really. Band, these boys, well, I'll say these boys, these old men, <laughs> the two of them that are left are my kind of, uh, my kind of musicians. But that would be good, wouldn't it? Because it can raise the profile on the hottest bands around in America and in the UK, of course. It's amazing that that uh, band has just gone from you know strength to uh, you know strength. They've, I think they, uh, with their charity single, they're um, number one in about eighty countries or so, I believe, which is an incredible feat. And they're, I don't know, how old are they? About they're like nine, nineteen or something. And they're staying at the Lowry tonight, actually. Are you going to be there? You should go. You should go <laughs> no. down. Why not? Are you sure. No. I might go down and get an autograph. You never know. They might want my autograph. I doubt it very much. But you I know, want your we, we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> but no, I think it's going to be a really good night. We've got um, let's say with Jesse J shaving her hair. We've got a yeah. new vicar of Dibley. I think the the characters from the um, Call the Midwife, uh, which is a very popular mm -hmm. program on Sunday night. There, they're doing a Miranda skit Hart as well. Miranda Hart. Chat. Yeah. Graham Hart. Uh, Norton has a six-hour marathon chat as well. Have you, have you have you heard about that? No, I haven't. I was hearing a bit of uh, grimy stuff on Radio One yesterday when he got. Um, Scott Mills to snog Vanessa Feltz, which Tell I thought was about that. very brave right. of both of them, um, and that was probably raised a lot of money. I think he was trying to raise about a million pounds just during the time his show was on air yesterday. For so, not just for the snog. snog. No, that, that's a pretty expensive snog, that isn't is it? Expensive I, think snog. For the, I think for the entire programme, it's it yeah, a million you know, pounds. You know. Vanessa Feltz, was it? I think I would have snogged Vanessa Feltz for a million pounds, in fairness, or probably even Scott Mills, but anyway. Uh, that's, I'm uh, not quite sure about that, but okay. That's just me, folks. But... So there's, there's an awful lot going on, um, and I think um, Richard Curtis, of course, is one of the founders of Comic Relief. Yes. He's written the, the Vicar of Dibbury sketch as well, so that'll be worth, worth tuning in for as and well. And also, it's um, important to show the serious side, like John Bishop's going to show how the money's actually going to change lives for the children in Africa, so we're going to see clips of that as well. Yeah, well, I watched one of the programs last night uh, called um, From Hell to High Water, and it was absolutely brilliant. It was a team of celebs. Basically, the, white um, water rafting down the Zambezi, Zambezi River. Yeah, yeah and Dara yeah. O'Brien nearly, nearly drowned. Bless him. Really, he, he came out the boat and had to hang on for dear life onto some some trees um, <laughs> until he was rescued. And it was it was incredible stuff. I mean, you tend to think something's oh, a bit cheesy. It's celebs doing this, but this was real difficult stuff. And I think the most moving part of all was um, there were some kids who actually have to walk two hours to school, to school and two yeah. hours back. Mm. You know, it was absolute, and this is in the absolute baking heat, and the celebrities did it with them, and of course they will then go back, which is fair enough to their sort of costed lifestyles here in the West. But that's the sort of thing that's going on day in, day out in Africa, and it's the sort of thing that Comet Relief is providing money for. So I don't think even the hardest hearted critic could complain about the, the work that's being done by us here in Salford and across the, across the UK. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Andy. Thank you.